So I wanted to show you if you have a sore throat. This hit me on Friday night. Today is Sunday afternoon, almost Sunday evening. Um, we uh, went to go see Iron Man 2. And maybe it was the fact that I thought it was a pretty average movie that somehow I'm paying the price. Because before I went into the theater, I felt completely fine, strong, no issues at all. But as soon as I left... You know, it was a late show, it was like a 9.30 show, and uh, man, it just, I felt my throat starting to, I can tell, that that's usually the main issue with me when I when I do get sick, it's a sore throat in between the uh, changing weather, and uh, Michigan will definitely do that. It could be 80 during the day and go down to 40 at night, so it's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, um, I don't want to talk about all of that, I want to talk about this, and what this is, is a mug, Okay. You're going to fill this mug with water. You're going to put some salt in there. All right. In terms of the measurements, uh, all I can tell you is that this recipe is very flexible and it will allow you to, um, you know, you can adjust it. So I'm not really, you know, I don't uh, uh, go crazy with uh, measuring spoons or anything like that. I, I simply just, you know, pop the cap off the bottom here and uh, drop it in the mug. If I were to say, uh, probably under a tablespoon. A tablespoon's way too much, but, you know, again, it's whatever you're comfortable with. So, mug of water, salt, cayenne pepper. You don't put this on until the end. I mean, you can put it on before, but I'm telling you, less than a pinch. Like, two very small, um, you know, taps of the actual receptacle, because... Anything more, and your lips are going to be burning, all right? So this would probably be the only ingredient I would tell you to be a little bit careful with. Of course, if you are not sensitive to heat, um, <coughs> excuse me, then maybe you'll be okay. But cayenne pepper, honey, thank you, Canada. So yes, honey. Oh, and lemons, okay? Oh, really just... Lemon juice would be fine, but I happen to have an actual fresh lemon, so cut it in half, squeeze it in there. Again, if I were to give you an actual measurement, probably half a tablespoon, but you can adjust it. The point is you actually want to ensure that the water is warm, okay, so heat up the water first. Um, you can put all the ingredients in, <coughs> excuse me. This is not making for a compelling video here. You can put all the ingredients in to make sure the water is warm. Stir everything up and gargle with it. Literally. Gargle probably with each, you know, with each sip. All right. And like pretty close to filling your entire mouth um, so that you look like a hamster or something. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything, any other better analogy. Sorry. But literally gargle three times. So, you know, sip, brrr, okay, take a breath, brrr, take a breath, do it one more time. Or you can, you know, again, more is not going to hurt anybody. So, but I usually do it about three times. Now, what's the point of all this? Well, certainly if it ends up being much more serious, then this is not going to make a difference, all right? But it definitely, at least with me, it takes the edge off the pain in the throat. Um, of course, if you, now again, this happened to me on Friday night, if it looks like nothing is happening, my voice, believe it or not, was worse than what it is now, so, um, if by tomorrow afternoon it hasn't cleared up, then I am probably going to go to the doctor and determine if it's, you know, if it's a bacterial infection in my throat or sinus infection, uh, or maybe it's a virus, you know, I really don't know. Um, there have been times where I've used this remedy, and, uh, you know, I have no problem with hippies, but I'm not one. But, you know, I respect the whole uh, natural remedies, and I'm really um, into avoiding conventional medicine as long as possible in terms of taking pills and uh, looking for relief that way. I just think in the long term, this is my opinion, uh, you know, I really like my liver, and I don't want it to get taxed by um, a filtering like crazy, uh, the toxicity of traditional medication. So, I've done this before. It's worked. I'm probably 50-50 whether it's going to work right now, 
but um, I usually do it about three times a day, so I'm, I'm at the point where I'm about to do another round of it. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. I think it's something that, uh, you know, if you were to break down the cost, I don't know, maybe it costs like a nickel or something for this remedy. Um, you know, again, could you go with like, uh, what is that, chloroseptic or something? Uh, you know, I guess you could do that if you want to rock the whole red number two and blue lake seven and uh, saccharin and all that really good stuff. I guess you could do that. You know, that's your call. But I just wanted to share this with you. Honey, salt, warm water in a cup or a mug, squeeze of lemon, cayenne pepper at the end. Stir it all up. Gargle at least three times, um, you know, three breaths per sip. So if you have any success with that or any alterations to that particular recipe, I don't even recall where I saw this, but it's been pretty effective for me. So that is all I have for you. I'm going to get back on the grind and hope my voice comes back. Although this might be a good thing if it actually stays like this. Although I don't feel the greatest, so... You know, hopefully not. So that's all I have for you guys. Be well and wash your hands. All right, thanks, guys.